In, in today's um, psalm and in today's parable, we look at um, the consequences of doing the right and the wrong thing. In the parable, um, Jesus tells us about the sheep and the goats, and we're going to make our own sheep and goat today. So, step one. Here we go, step one. Draw around the faces of the sheep and goat, draw some legs and cut them out. I'm right. assuming you've got a so, craft pack here. I'm not gonna... Yep, so if you haven't got a craft pack, you'll have to make your own sheep and goats. But if you've got a craft pack, I've done a lot of the work for you already. So here's my sheep head, or my goat, this is my goat head, and I'm just going to cut some ears out of that. So I'm not going to... And then this is my sheep head. Don't say that too quickly. Here we go. So I'll draw it around the edge and then with my sheep head, I'm just going to make it look all woolly at the top. And then on the other side of my paper, I need to draw legs. Now I need two sets of legs that are the same. So if I draw one set of legs, I can then just fold the paper in half and cut it out twice. Oh, that's okay. Okay, so let's get this cutting done. This is the end of step one, cutting out our um, sheep and our goat head. It's not an umbrella. It's not an umbrella. It's like an umbrella. Thanks, Rich. There we go. There we go. So our goat has ears on the side of her head, so I'm kind of cutting ear shaped dents into her face. They get brown paper as well if they've got a craft pack. Uh, they would have the brown paper, the white paper strips, the green paper strip, the glue stick. Yes, it should all be there. So that is, oh, I've got to do the legs. So I forget the legs. I nearly forgot the legs. Cut in half, is it? No, fold so I'll half, fold, fold it in half so that when I cut this shape out, I cut it twice. And these are a bit like a boomerang. Or a bubble letter V. Something along that lines. There you go. Done. Okay. That is step one. Done. Now we've got some writing in step two. So our first step is going to be to decorate the sheep and goats. So we're going to glue the legs on. I'll do it all backwards, I think. So I haven't got the black outlines. So just glue the top of the legs. And glue them behind, oh, and you've got your yeah, legs. You sounds see. like a sheep, huh? Yes, that's the goat. To be fair, this one's the sheep. Okay. So I'm going to stick the sheep's head on the sheep. Ah. Okay. And the goat's head on the goat. Now, hopefully that will pretty much fit. There you go. So. Now I'm just going to just colour in its feet and do... It's not wearing shoes, is it? No. No, not wearing shoes. Do some noses. And I nearly forgot the eyes. They'll come in handy. They will. And I'm going to do some ears. In, ah, pink, that's the right colour. And I have some horns on my goat in the other one, but I forgot about them in this one. So I'm just going to cut some horns out and I'll add those on. So. I guess this craft probably take you about 20 to 25 minutes. Depends how quick you are with your glue stick really, doesn't it? Right, so here are my Goat horns. Oh, we're going to get stabbed by those, cool. No, probably not. Right, so there you go. I have decorated my. Oh, 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 oh. Did I go? Did I stick it on the wrong way? That's why. There you go. I have decorated my goat, my goat. and my sheep, sheep, but now I need to do some writing because okay. there's a difference between 
the goat and the sheep in the story. I'll zoom in onto the finished one so, so you can see the writing. Yes, that's a good idea. So I'll just put my cheeks on that I forgot. So it says, I fed the hungry, gave a drink to the thirsty. So these are all the things the sheep did in the parable that Jesus told. Clothed like, a stranger. Is this like what, Rich? This is like the, uh, the good sheep then. This is a good sheep, yeah. Clothed the stranger, you've got the idea. Invited them in. Visited the ill and the prisoners. That sounds like quite a nice sheep. That's quite it's good, a nice it? sheep. Um, so that's the end of step two. Step two, step two done. Right, here we go. And we do the rest of the writing in step three. So now we have to write on the goat. All right, now, in the goat. So this is the goat. The right. goat made different choices. In Jesus's parable, the goat ignored the hungry, the thirsty, the stranger, the ill, and the prisoners. So, a bit like a Bond villain then. He's a bit like a Bond villain, I guess. He made different choices. Okay, so we're going to make, like we did a few weeks ago, a paper spring so that our sheep and goats pop out. Right, pop out. So this is the second part of step three. So you just glue the end of one of your bits of paper, yep. put them like this. Into a right angle. Yep, and, and fold, flip them fold, over, fold, fold. flip them over. So this is quite a quick job, hopefully. So you can like a spring. Makes it into a paper spring. And there we go, glue that shut, and we'll do that to the other one. Right, here we go. Just like that. Got another chance to pick this up. So, right angles, that's important. Right angles, and then over, over, over. There you go. It might take a bit longer than it takes Chrissy, but yeah, still done. It's just practice. So I've glued both of my paper springs. I'm going to put one on the middle of the sheep okay. at the back and one on the middle of the goat at okay. the back and that is step three so we're now on to step four so they got to so make it we've just made the sheep and the goat boiling. so we've made the sheep and goat springy we're now going to put everything together so we're going to start what, what, with our grass put the grass yeah and we're just going to cut a bit of a wiggly line on our grass so it looks a bit more like grass so just I'm just using a zigzag, but if you've got a bit more time, you can make it look even more grass-like. There you go. And then you just need to glue the back of your grass okay. and put that along the bottom of your craft journal. Okay, grass. Okay. Yeah. Now we're going to write on the top. We're going to write the sheep and the goats to remind us about the parable that we're thinking about. And uh, which parable is this? Do you say Psalm 110? Ah, the Psalm is 110, and the parable, the New Testament reading, is the parable of the sheep and the goats. So there are two readings today. Now, last section, we need to glue the springs, the back of the springs, yeah. and stick them into our craft journal. So here's the sheep, and here's the goat. As you said, Richard, at the beginning, our sheep is our good sheep, our goat is our Bond villain, and this is to remind us about today's Bible readings. Yay.